The thought of getting coronavirus can be particularly frightening for people getting chemotherapy because it weakens the immune system. Amy Wattis looked into what people getting chemotherapy should do. Yolanda Murphy thought stage two breast cancer was her biggest enemy when she was diagnosed in 2016. But in 2020, it's coronavirus that's consuming her now. It's been mentally daunting. Daunting because the 41 year old has a weakened immune system after getting chemotherapy treatments four years ago. While she's not getting chemotherapy anymore, Yolanda is taking what's called tamoxifen, an oral medication that prevents the cancer from coming back. But she is not considered to be in remission until after five years of her diagnosis. For those of us that have gone through chemo chemotherapy, your immune system kind of will never be the same. Which makes her at a higher risk of contracting COVID-19 and it being more serious if she did get it. You could have more complications, more severe okay. pneumonia, worse outcomes than if you didn't have the chemotherapy or immunosuppressive agent on board. Why Dr. Stanley Marks suggests delaying chemotherapy treatments if it isn't detrimental to your health. There are certainly patients who are doing very well, who are in a deep remission, might be on a maintenance chemotherapy drug. And in that situation, it wouldn't hurt. But for patients who have cancer that's rapidly growing or a cancer that can be cured by chemotherapy, Dr. Marks recommends not postponing treatments a choice that's not always easy to make. Do we want to risk going into the hospitals where we all know most sick people are? Dr. Mark says it's a case by case basis and some patients can even do oral chemotherapy treatments at home. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.